Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. That's it. That's his end of the night. We have a good fucking night tonight. We here, 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 we here. That is straight tequila. We back another week, another episode of BYOB the podcast. I'm your host, regular Ja. Hey man, I'm Intercontinental Kyle. Little Fanny. Little Fanny. Make room for Fanny. Oh no, that is awful. Make room for Fanny. Yes, that's terrible. You should not do that. The fuck is going on? Hey, There's actually a lot of shit going on. It's a lot, it's a lot of shit going the fuck on. That shit crazy. This shit crazy. crazy. Right. <laughs> Niggas often wild. You know shit crazy when all you can say is, man, that shit crazy. That's it. <laughs> and motherfuckers know what you're talking about. What <laughs> you know, they all all that shit. shit crazy. All of it. Before we start and before we um actually get into the topics, I just want to... Let Dwight Howard know that he is a freaky ass nigga. That's a freaky ass <laughs> nigga. Listen, I knew something was up with my man when I seen his shoulders. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Them shoulders told me everything I need to know. Hey, shoulders scream, I'm gay. <laughs> like, how you give somebody unconsensual he's, oral he sex? He said he's this not gay. Crazy. It's, yeah, he, he said he's not gay. He just likes to have fun. <laughs> he said, you, you're doing the business. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the nigga said, bro. <laughs> I don't, he's, that's what he said. He said he's not gay. He just likes to have fun. I mean, I've never sucked dick, so I can't tell you if it's fun or not. I don't know. <laughs> it, it is fun, but let me tell you For something. women, I'll I would take y'all word for yeah, it. I'll take <laughs> your word for it. Like, I'm good. Listen, I don't no, need to know first nah, what it is. Some fun night I'm okay missing out on. Nah, this nigga. Yeah, I don't have FOMO. Nah, that's not. <laughs> like, I'm good. I'm good listen, on that. Listen, this nigga's mouth was trash. That's why the nigga said. I don't have FOMO and I'm not. Crazy. Never mind. Yeah, the head was trash. That's why he didn't like it. That's even worse. That shit. So the nigga snitched on him. Trash ass head. The nigga snitched on him because he did it wrong. That's it. A nigga saying now. that you gave him unwanted head is crazy. Because it was trash. It was fucking trash if it was good. That man was I was going to say, because the worst part about it is who don't want head? Yeah. Feel That's me? a fact. That's <laughs> what I'm you feel me? It, was, it wasn't good. Fucking shoulders. That is tragic. Them fucking shoulders. I knew it. I mean, I always knew Dwight Howard was, was a little gay. You could just sense it. But... You so freaky ass nigga. That's the problem. <laughs> Listen. Listen, the thing is, there's got to be like some camera footage. I, I, I don't want to see that shit. There's a difference between being gay <laughs> and then just being a perv and doing some freaky shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm. Gay does not mean perv. True. That nigga's a perv. <laughs> I don't know what that. I mean, nigga I think is, he definitely. That I think he something. definitely did it because I feel like he was trying some shit. Like, he. I don't think he was all the way there. That's why the head was trash. This is probably first or second time sucking. Nah, some I believe. Nah, That's but yo, so he he wasn't, like he wasn't some ready. years ago, um, his old lady left him for. Gay rumors like yeah, last they, year or the year before. And they called that nigga a seven foot bottom. That's, that's, that's the craziest shit. Look at I swear to God. That is crazy. I swear to God, yo. That is mad disgusting. I swear to God. Fuck, oh, man. Listen, I'm telling you, this This is what happened. That's a wild way to describe a nigga, though. I'm trying to tell y'all. My man was new. That's a wild he was way. was trying something new. He was trying something. That shit ain't new. He probably trying a new move. He yeah. was no, nah, he was trying something. I think he's new to. I think he's been interested, but I think this is first time he done actually went with it. And I think he was just nervous. That's why the head was trash. That's why the nigga told. You being nice because I think the nigga been gay. Yeah, but he ain't do it. Some people don't try it just because you know they may like the. Look I mean, they just say he was a bottom, so he was just. T- this is disgusting. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Yeah, this is too much. I am uncomfortable. This is definitely not. <laughs> not uh, <laughs> it's just not my lane in my world. Not that at all. Crazy. All I know, that's a freaky ass boy. See, I've never gotten and that yo, was like trash. And the crazy wanted, shit though, like, but they said that's um part of the reason why. Yeah, but I would NBA, never say she gave me head that I didn't like. I wanted the head when she gave it to me. It just sucked. Listen, you give me. Some yeah, head, I'm not gonna head, go I'm snitch telling. on shorty though. Yeah. Like, I'm, go, I'm telling. I'm bitch, not gonna go. Head is trash. I'm telling. I'm telling. I'm fucking telling. She sexually assaulted me. <laughs> I'm telling. She bit my she dick. But that's what he. Like um, that's what he's getting. Uh, he's getting charged for that though, right? Ain't it yeah, sexual he, assault, right, yeah. nigga? Because he okay, so he forced him. Not even like. Okay. Not even because the situation is what it is with the gay shit, but like 
how trash does your head have Who to be? Just does that somebody, like, no, how trash does your head have to be that a motherfucker is filing sexual assault, sexual claims assault, assault, assault charges on you? That's you crazy. had to bit my dick. It wasn't no bite, and it was not good. He was new. You're not new. You're not good in the beginning. I, I mean, you know, I wouldn't know. I can only take your word for it. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Either. Far be it for me to argue with you. I think it, it would have been cool had he not the force in part, like. Because he forced the mouth love and then forced him to give somebody else mouth love. He forced the guy to give somebody else? Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, you, you're yeah. definitely a perv. You're definitely going down. That's what I'm saying. Like, Although, again, my question still remains. First of all, who doesn't want hit? That's the first one. And then how do you force somebody to put a dick in your mouth? Listen, hold on. I'm going to keep it a whole thousand. I you got want, to kill me. I don't me. want no beginner head. Like, I don't want to be the first like Bruh. pussy you ever ate. I don't want that. That's going to piss me off. Like, what the fuck is you doing? No. Train the nigga. Yeah, not yeah. the first time. You got the baby steps. <laughs> <laughs> it's baby steps. Now I feel you, though, because a chick that can't suck dick, like. Yeah, at, my, at this big age, yeah. if I meet you and she's like, yeah, it's my I don't first got, time yeah. ever sucking dick in life, I'd be like. Yeah, you don't want no beginner head. So I'm telling, because, <laughs> no. And if she do it in that shit fire, either you a liar or you a natural, and I don't believe you just a natural. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I believe there's some natural dick suckers in the world. Hello. First time, and they just just straight to it, and it's just they watch a lot of no porn, issue. just you know, being yeah. horny. Women be horny, bro. No, that's a fact. They say, I mean, you know, they say women think about sex more than men. We just talk about that yeah, shit. Women more. are far more hornier <laughs> than men are. True, indeed. I think. Yeah, no, that's a fact. But um, yeah, that shit. I don't know. That shit wild as hell. Yeah. I ain't even really give a fuck about the shit, but everybody kept inboxing me like, "Yo, y'all gotta talk about this shit." Man, it was there. Like the first like two three people, I was like, "No, we don't." It was the fucking shoulders. <laughs> I believe that. that. Killing with the shoulders. <laughs> oh shit! I wish I had that shit on cue. I gotta go find that shit right now. Oh no! <laughs> no not killing with the shoulders. No way. Mm mm. What else? Because I'm tired of talking about that freaky ass nigga. Yeah, but <laughs> but yo, the crazy thing is they saying that um, this is part of the reason why the NBA is um, not letting him back in. Like, oh, of course, you know he has a lawsuit against them on some like collusion listen, shit, like Kaepernick. Listen, bro, let me tell you. But a lot of them they don't want this negative press you got going on Mace, following you right now. May said it best on him and Cameron podcast. People like to say that the shit that you do in your personal life don't matter. Like, people don't care. Like, oh, that's their personal business. I don't care what they do in their personal life. It don't shit, affect yes me. You do. Nigga, that shit matters. Facts. Every fucking thing you do matters yeah. at some point in life to somebody somewhere. Yeah. No, nah, that's for sure. It matters. Like, that shit absolutely. Especially if you put that, that shit out to the public. Especially if you putting that shit out to the public. Especially when you get out to the public. But even if it don't. Like, yeah. people be like, oh, the shit people do behind closed doors in their bedroom don't matter. Nigga, that shit matters. It does. <laughs> Fucking matters. It does. If I find out one of my homeboys is doing some extra wild gay shit behind closed doors in their bedroom, I'm not going to be like, nigga, that shit don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we got to have a conversation about this. I don't know what the conversation going to be like. <laughs> Maybe the conversation might end our friendship. I don't know. It's just, shit matters. <laughs> All that's going to happen, that nigga going to look at you and say, nigga, I ain't trying to do it with you. I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you sneak, if you taking dick behind closed doors, homie, we need to have a conversation about this. Like, yeah, no, nah, I mean, <laughs> that's wild. That's just mad. That's <laughs> <disgusting. laughs> wild as shit. Yo, we're that's, gonna, that's wild as shit. You. We're just gonna give you a mic and let your mic just sit back there with you, <laughs> like parts. <laughs> give her a mic like parts. Wow. Yeah, get, give her that one. That shit, do that shit go over there? Yeah. Come that on, come on. That me getting up. Sorry. See if that shit go over there. Oh, it'll reach. It'll reach over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the, see, I don't even want to, after this. Say, I was about out? to say the shit extend, but I, like, I, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say the shit extend and some more shit, but that might not be the best choice of words after what's going on. <laughs> Thank you. Well, oh. that voice is sensual. Test, test, test. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. That jank was sensual. Me? Yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> Not it made it jump. <laughs> <laughs> but did it stay up? 
<laughs> I know <laughs> that's <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Um, so you won't be able to hear this next part, Drea, okay. about Michael Irvin, though. But so you think he gonna win this? Before we get into that, though, you think he gonna get this? He gonna win this lawsuit against the NBA? They probably just gonna settle this shit. No, nigga. Kill that nigga, fucking money. <laughs> they gonna tell that nigga to eat a dick and get the fuck out of their face, and he gonna go do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking nut, nigga. Yo. It's crazy. I don't want to hit. Yeah. I mean, he he definitely can't go to the Sixers. I can completely hate If one of them Philly like... niggas call him a nut ass <laughs> nigga, he might not understand what that shit mean. <laughs> Be waiting in the locker room. <laughs> Dick out. That is crazy. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's exactly why that shit matters. <laughs> True. Exactly why. That's real. Niggas often wilding. Niggas often wilding. <clears throat> What are we talking about, Michael Irvin? But yeah, do? man. Uh, so Michael Irvin was on uh, Undisputed, and um, he pretty much called out his. He exposed his son because his son. Um, you know, he's a trap. He's a trap rapper and shit. But Michael Irvin was pretty much like, "Yo, just not that ain't your life, nigga." You, How many people are like that? I was about to say ninety percent of the industry. That's so let me see if I like that. Nobody cares. Pull it up. Nigga, is the music good? All right. <laughs> But you know, some of them his rap name is Tut Tarantino. If you ever listen to some of his raps, I'm like, oh my God, where does hey. this come from, son? You grew up in a gated community your whole life, but he's rapping my life because we romanticize and fantasize about that old thug life, ghetto life, and all of that stuff. When, when, when I got a son. I mean, he, he, he raps. That's just that. I mean, so many people like that, though. Yeah. Have the industry like that. But I, I feel like... So some people were saying he was wrong. I, 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 I fuck with him for it. I mean, first of all, if you know that that's Michael Irvin's son, you already know that that nigga didn't grow up hard. Hmm. Yeah. So he why grew up is in the gated community. We know this, though. It's not like it's <laughs> hidden facts. Everybody want to be Tariq, man. <laughs> it ain't like... Like we found out that Twenty One Savage was British, like that was a fucking surprise. Mm. Nobody, knew that. <laughs> Nobody fucking knew that. Was that. Hey, but them then UK it was like, niggas, is this nigga really like? Is this nigga really Atlanta? Like, is he really like that, or is he British? Like, hey, no, we, I, <laughs> I know I, some British gangsters. Like, I was gonna like, say, like, like, I know some British. Gangsters. I was gonna say that that, that shit don't coincide mm. with because there's niggas in the UK. Yeah, them yeah niggas definitely go busy. Definitely go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> but it's a difference. You know, UK yeah. busy is not Atlanta busy. It's a difference. True. Yeah, the craziest shit is I think UK busy might be worse because them Depends niggas stab you. you. Depending on what part you go to. Nah, what Stabbing I'm, what, what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Because I mean, there's gunplay everywhere. It's a even knife. like, but it's not. It's a knife. That, it's a and knife. that explains why the <laughs> fuck you got the knife, knife on it. All that shit though. But like, them UK niggas, like, you know how much you really got to dislike a motherfucker to stab him. Mm. I mean, unless yeah. y'all scuffling and you pull the blade out like on some heat of the moment shit though. But like, these niggas playing the stabbings. Yeah, but we all knew his son wasn't yeah. like that. But I mean, I yeah. feel like yo, I think more parents should do that shit. Why? Why not? Why stop their money? First of all, you ain't about to fucking play I mean, with me, and I make sure you had a good motherfucking life. And here you talking about you had it hard, bitch. You know what I had to go through. I'm gonna fuck that's you. The, that's up. the shit. Perception. I'm gonna fuck you up. I you am don't not. Know, that's not what money. If you grew up in the gated community, first obviously world, money is not called the, first world problems. You don't have them, so you don't understand. I don't have them either. But the fuck you will see me in the street like oh you the one who you, you the shitty ass mama you like you don't know what it's like to live in a gated community and all your friends got I wish brand I new did. Porsches for their no, birthdays it's... and you got <laughs> but the, the crazy fucking... the crazy shit is every you street every nigga who's really in the streets and really from the streets and like even the rap niggas that actually grew up in the streets they say the all say the same shit like nigga I wish that was the life I had I, <sighs> if I was born rich I would rhyme about it. Because the money, money music is the shit that makes shit go around anyway. When you in the club and all that shit, or in the strip club, money music is what it is. Oh, so yeah. like, nigga, you can just rap about being a rich nigga. There's Who gives a can. fuck? Yeah. Why you want to rap about street shit though? I feel like this is an age old conversation. Because you can still, but this is not an age old scenario though. This like most more a lot of parents ain't did this shit yet. But like, it's it, it's what, one thing to like. What does him doing it do? Like, what does it help? What does it destroy? Does it destroy his son's rap career? Probably not. Probably, probably 
Probably, it might. I don't think he really had much of a rap career. That was my point. <laughs> that was my point. <laughs> so, because I mean, I listened to like one of the songs. Like, and, did like, you have this conversation with your son? Or did you just probably? Have I feel like he, he probably did. was he fed up. He probably was fed shit. up with. I don't, think, I don't think he did. He probably was fed up with. Because I just shit. put my hands on my again, son. But like, then again, <laughs> Michael Irvin is kind of an older dude, so a lot of them. Yeah, he ain't going to social media. So first. I don't obviously I don't know Michael Irvin, but like a lot of people in his age bracket don't really feel like. No. I'm having conversations with my kid. Like, now I owe you no conversation. Exactly. So. So I feel like you just went there to the public. Which is, I mean, I get it. I love that energy, though. Yeah. I mean, I'm mad and and if you're really about that shit, this your pops. Just don't think. What? I mean. <laughs> if you, Bo- he Bo- calls Bo- you a fraud, right? Boosie got a whole diss song against his daughter. So That's what I'm saying. If, if, we outside with if, if you really, numbers. If you really about that shit, tut. Uh, and, and your pops got them. Don't listen to him. Do, do not get cut off from the family money. That is dumb as hell. Nah, he gonna get money off this rap shit. Do not get cut off from the family <laughs> money. That is dumb as hell. He gonna dumb get. As hell. He gonna get money off this rap shit, man. He gonna blow up. Okay. The streets gonna fuck with this nigga. Get money off this rap shit. Just do not dish your daddy. No, but the the flip side of this shit though, the shit that's dangerous about niggas like that is a suburban nigga with money is actually dangerous. Cause they can get you hit. True. They got enough. They they money long enough to get niggas sent the fuck away, sent to you. <laughs> Come see about this. So like, that's that's one side of the shit though. It's like I uh, I don't really gotta be gangster, but I got a hundred niggas that's on my payroll. That is, and they grew up like in the hood right outside of my gated community. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I mean, you know, you probably meet a lot of these niggas at school. I mean, he probably didn't. He probably went to a private joint. I'm not sure. I don't know the whole backstory, but right, that's what I'm saying. Like him coming out and saying that shit was so pointless. Cause we knew. First of all, we didn't even know your son rapped. And it looked from the looks of what I saw, it's probably trash. That's like. the that's the first. Thing. We didn't even know he rapped. So all you're doing is giving him publicity. And and, and it, honestly, it that might have been what that's the fuck what I was it gonna is. say. It might have been that. Like, oh, that makes more sense. Cause nobody knows your son fucking raps. And he can also flip it like, yo, nigga, you was on the road like most of the year. You don't know, know what the fuck, the fuck I, I had going on. 16, 16 <laughs> weeks out the plus training camp, nigga. I was yeah. outside trapping. You don't know what the fuck I had going on. I bought on. bricks with your money, nigga. Yeah. You won't there, nigga. Like, I ain't. That's what I'd have did. You better bet it. I definitely bought bricks with my parents. Man. I ain't gonna front, though. What I, do you mean? I, would, I ain't gonna lie. I would have probably been that fuck up rich kid. I mean, it's not a fuck up rich kid. I'm starting you know my own I business. Was, and they, in the eyes of the parents and shit. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you, yeah, you were up. Oh, if yeah. your parents is millionaires but, and you trapping, uh, but and all these people, and they all these people in this gated community do coke, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, they all powder. Right, yo, I made I made your football contract. I made it <laughs> off your neighbors. I made nigga. it <laughs> this year. I Dad, made that shit off your neighbors. It. What's up? Selling powder out of high school. Yeah. So Tariq and them did it right. And what happened? I the think choke. I think Michael Irvin went and went and went and knocked on some doors. Like you bought coke from my son. I would hope not though, but I don't know, man. I th- I thought this shit was funny though. Speaking of knocking on doors, I thought this shit was uh, hilarious. Speaking of knocking on doors, who was knocking on door? You gonna get to what the fuck you was you talking about? Uh, I was trying to figure out a good way to say that DJ MV a slumlord. No, I'm sure. <laughs> nah, I've I've heard. I don't think DJ MV is a slumlord. I do believe he was involved with this game. No, you're not. I don't. Me, you're not gonna tell me the nigga didn't know. I don't. I'm not gonna tell me the nigga to know. I don't. And you the reason why I him? don't, because why? So if you actually scamming niggas like that, why the fuck would you tell the main the, the main breadwinner? Like you you keep a dummy. Not saying he's a dummy, but you keep a nigga that's kind of plausible deniability, and use them to goddamn do what you got to do. But out of all the people that he knows, because when this shit first so that came out, they like, tell me he's you either s- <laughs> stupid or naive. Like and naive? I don't I don't believe you're that naive. I, I, I refuse. This so. is DJ Envy. I, I refuse to believe. I, he's, he, I, some bro, niggas is just that naive, bro. That stupid, bro. When shit is too good to be true, some niggas don't realize that it is. When you start making a certain, you 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 pass a level of being naive, and like the, you do. And you the thing to. is, so so the shit with it too, because I actually been like looking into this shit past like the the rumors and everybody just talking about the scamming. Now whether you knew and you didn't actually have a hand in it, and you were just kind of overlooking it, like, well, fucking, I ain't doing that shit. You doing it? Not so cool. All right, so but what nigga, pretty much knew. happened? He was going to him for you know. The investment shit, but DJ Envy actually has legitimate investment properties oh. that he got through dude too. So dude really knows the shit. But, but he yeah, he was 
like uh, so people was giving him money and like they were seeing no return on their investment they were seeing no roi so of course you know niggas start questioning this shit and he had no answers so even at one point before the shit blew up envy was like shit man you know he still owed me such and such right now too but he yeah, used shit already, shit but already listen, started hitting the fan before then that was in the back end yeah but it he was like the public he was like yo but there's times that he's owed me money and it took a little longer but i got it so of course you don't know. That's like me and you doing some shit. And, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run the play for you. Like, yeah, my man, go get you the money. What do you mean? You, and you me have too? no idea. Like, and and I have no idea that you doing sideline shit. So everything yeah. I've done with you is legit. So and then like maybe one or two things that won't legit might have popped up. You don't know that I'm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know that I'm. You know that I'm doing some. You know I'm doing some shit. Yeah, shit, bro. But then like, I'm just not doing it to you. But if you doing cool. hundred things and ninety eight of them is legit that I that I personally see. And then the other two, and I'm not capable for him because I don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's easy to turn a blind eye when he's not doing the shady <laughs> shit to you, and you're making money from it. Facts. There's you. There's no nah, so bro. They're, all they're envy talking, really because they're 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 they not even millions of dollars because yeah, they wasn't really he, all he, envy bro. did was gave the nigga a platform. So people was trying to say like no, they bro, was like partners. No, they are partners. That's what I'm saying. You haven't seen the videos, bro. These niggas have yeah, been in no, multiple they inve- seminars. Yeah. Yeah, they, they are on multiple that. videos yeah. talking about house flips together. <laughs> they are partners, bro. This nigga knew. He knows. He fucking knew. Yeah. I he knows. Dying. I mean, I'm not going to convict this nigga before the court do, but. I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying he was doing the scamming. Yeah. He may not have necessarily been involved with it himself. Hey, but you know what knowing is, right? I mean, you're guilty of them. <laughs> <laughs> in the eyes of all, you're guilty. You, like, nigga, if, if, I know, if I know a motherfucker selling dope and I'm staying in the house with him and they come kick that shit in, consp- I'm, I'm, I'm going down with him. If you got a good lawyer, you can beat it, though. That's conspiracy. If you got a good lawyer, you can beat it. I mean, that's, if you got a good lawyer, you can beat damn near anything. You can beat a murder with a good lawyer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can, ain't too much shit you can't if beat everything with, I got on paper with, with a good lawyer. Because, again, if DJ Envy knows that he's scamming people, but everything that Envy got on paper with this man is legitimate, he can break, like, again. Yeah. That's I why I don't think, I don't think Envy's, because... Even you just even know to still keep your to nose clean, even bro. to Tell like you. right now, as far as I know and as far as I've read, Envy's name is not in no paperwork on, in court. Like he don't, he's not like on the defendant shit. No, he's not. So it's just all like the court of public opinion. I just saying, I'm not saying he was actually in. No, that's what cabinet. I'm saying. So yeah, but the nigga knew. The nigga knew. The nigga knew. He might have knew. He, he knew for he sure. Knew. Yeah, but the I'm thing a gambler, is, though, man. I would put but, my house on it. So the 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 <laughs> thing is though. um I do remember the video that he said he called Joe Button, DJ Clue, and uh, Fab, and all three of them was like, "Yeah, nah, I'm good." Button told him it was a Ponzi scheme. Yeah, and Button said it was a Ponzi scheme. He called it a Ponzi scheme from the jump. <laughs> this nigga learned real estate in prison. Not to say that there's anything bad, because you can definitely learn yeah. a lot in prison. But again, sometimes you gotta look at what was the nigga in prison for to begin. Yeah, with. niggas learn law in prison and because yeah, like not, I mean, it's just different shit though. But but who he else? just looked like a nigga when he got out of prison, like he didn't change. <laughs> Every video you see him in, he looks like a scammer. Like the nigga, like he got out and was like, "Yo, I'm smarter now. I'm a he, really, I'm like, a really killer." Like but they bro, never, they ain't gonna he, catch me twice. So this, he literally dropped a video the other day and essentially said that he was like, "So what? I'm gonna go to prison. I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna flip this shit again. I'm gonna just do it better this time." That's I'm pretty a, much what the yeah. nigga said on video. Like, what are y'all I gonna do? Y'all still gonna yeah. be complaining nah, that my so, comments I mean, broke and I'm I mean, gonna get out and flip this shit again? The nigga, like the nigga, like it's no, it's no denying what the fuck he had going on. Know what I'm saying, but. It's just wild though, like, and again, it's really it's crazy because I think the it, idea that you had and the the platform and the amount of money that you were had people investing, you could have been a legitimate business money making real money, yeah, for years to come, decades. Unless the only thing that I can think that might have happened, the nigga might have did some moves and fucked some money up and was like, all right, you know, I got some investors, tried to get some other money to get that to pay that shit back, and very possible, and then it was just uh, and then that shit fucked rolling. up. He was like, fuck. Now, oh, this nigga that still. Just keep rolling, and I yeah. owe these niggas now. Shit, let me see if I can get some investors that got a little more than. And then the shit, then you might cover the 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 first debt you had, but now the other niggas that covered that debt that don't know that they covered that debt, they think you just put it in some property. Now these niggas is wanting their bread. Like, bro, it's been six months. What's up? They about to come for that nigga wife and everything. It's gonna get bad for them. <laughs> so. All I'm going to say is, he ain't do business with no, like, gangsters. And I don't mean no street gangsters. No, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I don't mean no street gangsters. I mean, like, <sighs> actually. I'm talking about the, the reason why I'm saying that, because, like, the rich gangsters. No, these niggas took some money. I think these he, he might not have, he, he might not have made it to court if it was rich gangsters. He might not. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He might <laughs> so, not. 
But yeah, I don't know, man. So this shit looking, this shit looking like it's. I think the nigga knew. I think Envy gonna be good though. He probably gonna lose a few endorsements and shit like that. Oh, definitely. He's probably gonna get fired from the Breakfast Club, honestly. Yeah, that's a, that's. Uh, I think they gonna wait to see how the, the case play out. Mm. The, the Breakfast that's Club. Not a good look. The reason why I say that the Breakfast Club has been through. I ain't gonna say way worse shit because worse is subjective. That's but not a good they've look been some. Them, they've been through way more answer. controversial shit than than this. And he didn't technically. Envy didn't technically yeah. do they nothing wrong. They came there and started going through shit. Yeah, taking, hard shit. taking like yeah, but I you heart so shit. with with that you have to sign waivers and shit like that. Like so, iHeart has no um like the guessing shit. They have no um autonomy over like any of that. So it's like you know when you watch something and they say you know the thoughts and views on this it's pretty much that like no so, nigga we talk about the the feds went and raided went, the iHeart studio. Oh yeah, studio. because Caesar was up there. Cause Caesar had he was up there on a couple episodes talking about you know they have guests and shit so he was so that's yes. what I'm saying so you gonna look in my can, eyes and believe so and they tell me that they, you really think that they just went to iHeart because Caesar was in the building yes nigga that's evidence he was no, on they, the show they he went, was in the they building. got this man's computer they took the he was on the show they took the computers from yeah. the studio yeah why would they take Envy's computer he never touched Envy's computer bro. Because Envy is part. He's not exactly part of this, because I mean, he's, he's part of it. Well, but in, he's, in public, he's, well, in public opinion, he's you part have of to it. investigate every yeah. like everybody that like they didn't go yeah. to iHeart because he was like, there. Bro. And, I, and a lot of this shit was Envy fault because they told him to shut the fuck up because he wasn't part of any of this shit. But Envy was so hell bent on clearing his name to the public that I think that's what fucked them they up. They ran up in a shit and took that them like and they didn't just walk up in iHeart with no warrant. No. Nah. Yeah, of course they had a warrant. But Warren that's what I said. Warren stems that's from bad. probable cause. But Caesar has been up there on the Breakfast Club a few times. I'm sure that Breakfast Club is not the only place that they've probably. He hit. doesn't go in Breakfast Club and touch computers. No, I'm. Saying, I, you're missing the point. I'm saying. Of course, I'm saying gonna, that's why he's going to lose his job. Uh, that also too, yeah. That's yeah, like I don't, I'm saying he's going to lose his job. I mean, we'll see how it play out though. I hope he don't. The Breakfast Club is already dying anyway. Nah, that shit's still the number one show right now. Is it? The, the ratings actually went up after um, after you left. What else is on though? I mean, it's a lot of shit. You got Russ mm-hmm. Parr. You got fucking. I know you got Steve Harvey. Russ Parr still coming. Steve yeah. Harvey. You got Young Jock in the morning. You got yeah, um, Young Jock in the morning is trash. That shit is. Um, what is Young Jock? I like it. I, I fuck. I fuck with Jock on interviews though, but eh, I'm not really the biggest fan. Most of their shit is just like yeah. really sketched out and shit too. It's just well, so entertaining yeah. though. That's what I like. It's, it's just the entertainment <coughs> aspect. All right. I mean, it's a lot of shit though. Yeah. But I, like I said, I think um, I mean the nigga been there thirteen years. I think they gonna get him the benefit of the doubt until something actually comes out that says he did some shit wrong. I don't see them just firing this nigga. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't work for our heart, but and it, I don't think it, it w- it's not. No, does our heart are they partners with Power uh, Ninety Nine or do they own it? I think they own it. So I mean, that would make man. that would make the difference. So I don't know. He gonna tell behind closed doors. <laughs> he gonna tell because he know, bro. I mean, his and dad. His dad used to be a cop. Oh yeah, and his dad and is here. Like, man, you you gonna tell these I people? Mean, <laughs> I mean, envy. I mean, envy always say he not no street nigga, so he he's gonna tell. He don't give a damn about. He's gonna tell. And I so so envy. His principles is different. What I mean by that is like. I don't see Envy snitching on a nigga that he fuck with, but a nigga like some shit like this. He's gonna tell. Yeah, <laughs> some shit like this. Again, I, again, he knew. He if knew you the entire time. if you threatening his livelihood and taking that man away from his family, he gonna look at you like you shouldn't have got caught. <laughs> That's the type of nigga I feel like DJ Envy is like nigga. I knew, but you shouldn't have got Not caught. Not even shouldn't have got caught. I think he gonna look at the nigga and say, "Yo, you shouldn't have got me involved." <laughs> you knew I was gonna tell from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> you should. This you should have kept. Hilarious. You should have kept my name out of this shit, my nigga. I ain't mad at him. But yeah, speaking of names. What name? Speaking of names, yo. Uh, did y'all see this shit with uh, Kyle's favorite singer? So Brian McKnight. Fuck Brian McKnight. So Brian McKnight <laughs> just changed his name to uh, something Brian I McKnight pronounce. Sr. Brian McKnight, like, like Keenan Noah. Yeah, yeah like, that's what I'm saying. I can't a different say middle name. So he changed his middle name because he just had a newborn. Who's Brian McKnight Jr. So the problem is he already has a son that's in like his twenties or some shit whose name is Brian McKnight Jr. Then nigga also has a daughter who he doesn't speak to either. I think it's the worst. Mm. Yo, so like 
The nigga hyphenated. He took his new wife's last name, didn't he? Like hyphenated his. Last I'm name never too. doing that ever. He's a bitch. Well, I might. He's I might. Different. I would hyphenate my shit to Spence Winfrey. Winfrey Spence. <laughs> like, if Oprah married me, I, I take her last name. I'm cool. But nah, that shit wild though. Whose last name would I take as a man? Like, cause how the fuck do you? How the fuck you already got a junior and you like, you know, I don't fuck with that nigga no more, yo. I'm a my new boy. Do another this, one. This is my new junior. We're running the shit back. Yo, you can't do that. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna just change my middle name. The first one didn't work out. Fuck it. I'm gonna run the shit back. Mm. Shit's stupid. As hell. He's a weirdo. Fucking as hell. He but as hell is as hell. Niggas knew he was a weirdo when he just <laughs> Let me show you how that pussy works. <laughs> That was my final. No, I'm fucking, not gonna play that. Bro, that was my shit. final fucking straw, with Brian. I had already disliked Brian Manette up until that point, but when he dropped, let me show you how that pussy work. I was fed up with this nigga. <laughs> Cancel him. Shut him down. No way. And everybody always judged me for years because I've been telling y'all that I hated Brian Manette for years, and everybody was like, "Why? Wow, he's such a great person. He makes good songs." I've never said he was a great person. I don't Knight. know that nigga. He's different. I don't know that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you didn't know that it could squirt. That's what I'm talking about. The crazy shit is, I really might like that shit if it came from anybody other than Brian McKnight. <laughs> the nigga threw the beat behind it. Bro, it was slapped. a whole. That shit is slap. <laughs> No, it won't. That's why this shit never went anywhere other than this fucking YouTube clip. Please, I'm, I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna knock all this shit off the table. It's gonna anger me. Look at this nigga. Look I don't want to look at him. I know what the fucking video looks like. I know. I know. Yo, why the nigga swinging like he in church? Because his pussy hurts. <laughs> nah, Brian McKnight a piece of shit though. But I've heard he been a piece of shit. He look it. But I mean, why you can't separate the uh, the art from the artist with him? You do it with everybody else. I don't know. Double standards, man. I don't even have a good answer for that. It's a really good question. Because fuck that. Yeah, because fuck him. Because <laughs> I don't want to. Don't that's, that's, that's the only answer I got because I don't want to. <laughs> fuck that, nigga. That's why. Oh, uh, that shit funny as hell. Man, uh... <laughs> What else we got? Um, but yeah, and I just thought that shit was funny, though. This has nothing to do with anything, but I don't know if y'all had that mambo sauce from McDonald's. That shit smacked. Niggas is eating mambo so- McDonald's mambo sauce? That sound like boo-boo waiting to happen. Actually, it hasn't been that bad. It? No way. It's wait, 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 wait. This nigga said it hasn't been that bad. How, how many times have you eaten this shit, bro? Uh, <laughs> look, bro, I got it the first time. I was like, damn, this sauce is good. I'm gonna go make it some like at first, wait, you know, when you first said it, you, I thought like you he might have tried it some once. Chicken, some chicken nuggets and some French fries, like and the fries too. That's crazy. You going to McDonald's? Mambo sauce. I'm you, not. Listen, eating. McDonald's fries fresh out of the grease. It's, it's still top tier. Facts. Hey, on Marvels, I'm never eating. Yo, chair slam. Never eating no motherfucking mambo sauce from no motherfucking McDonald's, y'all. I really think it's like oh, Capital City mambo about? sauce and just the McDonald's. That's not. It's not. It's fucking not. I think the Capital City lady. It, I, I think the Capital City not. lady was in the I'm, commercial. I'm willing to try it. Like, yeah, look try at the commercial. It. I think the lady who owns Capital City was in the commercial. I'm going. I don't believe it. Tonight. Smacks. I'm going to get some. Now, I mean, I, I will eat McDonald's fries because I mean they McDonald's fries. But you're not going to eat saying, the mambo sauce now. I'm cool on that. You're, That's kind of So I've had crazy. McDonald's fries with mambo sauce, but not McDonald's mambo sauce. So try sauce. it with that. You know, like I you, just found out like two days ago that they had mambo sauce. How saying, long they had this shit there? Uh, like two weeks, maybe. What I'm saying is that's just like don't say that because you can't put like Wendy's barbecue sauce with McDonald's chicken nuggets. It yeah, don't Wendy's work. So maybe the McDonald's trash. mambo sauce gonna slap. Yeah, I don't. Fries. I don't get barbecue sauce from Wendy's. Wendy's barbecue sauce. Is but I'm just they saying, ranch fire. You though. can't mix the sauces from the different right. restaurants. It don't hit the food the same way. Nah, cause any fucking food go good with Chick Fil A sauces. Thank you. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck where what other restaurant you go. You dip that shit in Chick Fil A sauce. That shit gonna slap. And Polynesian sauce on every fried bus. Polynesian sauce ain't nothing but white mambo sauce anyway. Really? (laughs) That's really good. I'm really hungry. That is like yo Polynesian sauce is like the white version of mambo sauce. I, I'm really hungry. Makes sense. Though. And it's slap. Polynesian sauce slap. Well, Chick fil A's Polynesian sauce slap. But hey, um, 
But yeah, let's move on, man. You's a nasty nigga for that though. Freaky ass boy. I'm just telling you, bro. I'm only, only telling you what I know. <laughs> you telling you what I know, bro. This nigga really eating goddamn. Can only tell you what I know. You's a freaky ass nigga. Dang. Oh wow. Um. Yo, did y'all hear about the um the pilot that cut the fucking engines off while they was? That was wild as hell. Was the, it, it the was... off duty pilot cut the fucking engines off? He on did niggas. some shrooms, right? I don't know. So they was um I didn't see nothing about no drugs. I might have overlooked that. But so when I saw the initial investigation, I didn't see anything about yeah. drugs, but so they let them they let them like come kick it in the cockpit. You know, I was like, yeah, you're a pilot. You know, they got their little fraternity and shit. So they say he was going through some shit though, right? Wasn't that in the news? Didn't I read that? He had to have been. He All they, always, they always say white people going through some shit when they do some outrage and shit. Yeah, that shit. All I know is what they should have did. They had to make like an emergency landing and shit. So the nigga cut both engines off because mm. it was like a twin engine. Like, so mm. the, the the actual pilots had to like get that shit together before everybody fucking died. You know, that's like one of my biggest fears is like a plane crash from like the Because yeah. number one, like if that shit had like you like There's nothing you can do, and you know you don't gonna die. Damn. That okay, shit so gonna take like three, four minutes to back f- on. You can't just no. That's what they did. So <laughs> they they found a way to so they found a way to cut it back on, and they like you know got the altitude and the speed and all that shit back right. Here's what happens when you hit those emergency valves, like when those airplanes when those engines shut off. Eventually, they start dumping fuel from them. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. So you, that way, in case you do crash, it's you know like a huge, it don't huge blow up. Yeah. But. <laughs> And if you don't get them back on enough time, this shit starts dumping fuel. So fortunately, they got them back on before it started dumping fuel. Yeah, and they had to do emergency landing and shit. Who I tell was you, holding a nigga down. I tell you what, mm-hmm. what they should they should have let them niggas. Plane. They should have let him, get off the plane. They should have let him whoop his ass until the plane landed. I would have. Oh, they should have let every out. passenger on that motherfucker take turns whooping his ass. Yeah, and I only say take turns because it ain't enough space for us to all fuck him up at once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can try. It's Everybody what 80, 83 up. counts of attempted murder. Hey, yep. 83. Yep, that's some wow. other charges. Yeah. Yeah, and now, like, you know how much shit they fucking up? Because now, like, no off duty pilot's going to be able to just kick it in the shit because they that's don't. That's real. Mm, they going to have to make that shit a policy yeah, now. They, gonna, they yeah, can't yeah. take that chance. Because there was a whole extra seat, honestly. It's called a jump seat. Yeah. So, like, when you find them between stations and shit like that, they can sit in them. But... Yeah. That's, so it's like, that's fucked I up. think that shit about to be dead. You're going to have to. That's a fact. You're going to have to sit with the motherfucking stewardess and shit. It's one less space for me to fly on. Mm. And it was like Alaskan Airlines too. Yeah. And they was yeah. going from uh what Washington to somewhere in Cali or some shit like that. I forgot where it was. It was actually somewhere like somewhere overseas, I think. But it wasn't far. Yeah. I'd have been even madder if I was like over the ocean when that shit happened. This just getting worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was a random uh worse. y'all hear about that category five hurricane that hit Acapulco, Mexico? Yeah, I like randomly. A real one? Yeah. Listen, it was a tropical storm. At on. first, I thought when I first read it, because I've actually found out from him, I thought he was scamming because he was like, "I'm gonna uh, keep keep y'all updated in the comments with the videos." I was like, "Yeah, this nigga, this oh, nigga scamming." Facebook cutting checks. <laughs> this nigga scamming. In case Facebook cutting checks for engagement <laughs> and comments. Um, but nah, yeah, but but yeah. I, I looked it up when I seen it. I was like, "Oh nah, this shit." This shit real. started off yeah. at like so, like I think it was what's today? Today's Thursday. Thursday. So Tuesday. So Tuesday morning at like eight o'clock in the morning, that shit was a tropical storm. It was like twelve hours too, right? Like mm-hmm. that shit was like Tuesday eight o'clock that, in the morning was yeah. a tropical storm. So Acapulco thinks it's just they just getting a tropical storm. By eight o'clock Tuesday night, that shit was a Category Five hurricane. You talking about a hundred something fucking mile per hour winds, hundred sixty five mile an hour winds, and that shit is headed directly for you, and you have two maybe three hours warning. Ain't no fucking way. You can't even pack up and just bounce. You can't do nothing. Not even pack up. You can't even just bounce. Just bounce. Like you got to literally <laughs> leave, right? Because the interstate shit gonna be jammed up. Like, and the worst place you want to be is on you the do fucking. Not want to be yeah. outside. Like when that shit hit, you do not want to be outside. You don't want to be in the because like it's a Category Five hurricane. The infrastructure is coming down, so I don't know what the quality of the infrastructure is in Mexico because I know they build a lot of their shit out of like stone and it's clay and shit like that. So that's what hurricane. I'm saying. So I don't know, but. If Florida can't do it and that shit's still and they be fucking them buildings up down there, like I know. That shit crazy, man. So prayers for them. So, Got one more topic in before we slide. So prayers to them, man. Um 
What else we missing? I think we got uh we got most of the most of this shit out. <laughs> Pam, what you got? I just have a question. You always have a question. It's not a, it's not a loud <laughs> question though. The parents always get a question. Kyle, y'all, could y'all be in a relationship with a woman who said yes to everyone? Oh, I'm bugging the fucking list. How we we ain't we, we skipped the list. The list. <laughs> I guess they can go hand in hand. Yeah. Could I be in a relationship with a woman that says yes to everything? Yes. Never, never said no. Like bad decisions, great decisions, like stupid shit. She's saying yes to everything. You're never getting told no. Even when it's the stupidest thing you've ever came up with in your life, she doesn't tell you no. Yeah, no, nah, I can't. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just keep it short. Nah, maybe I picked the wrong women in life. <laughs> nah, that shit would have started annoying me after a while. Could you imagine that? Like, because what if you asking her for like some legitimate shit and she just pretty much aligning with what she know that? But you that's would what want. a lot of like men want nowadays. You nah, but I'm saying, if we, what if you really coming and confide in her, like asking her, yeah. like maybe that's what I've I've been. <laughs> Never yeah, I'm I've cool. Because like, if I can't figure some shit out, and it's some shit that like a woman could figure out, and like all she doing is just regurgitating the shit that she thinks I would want to hear, then it's, that shit would annoy me. You do have men who do want to be with women. Yeah, I'm not. You ask me. You yeah, ask me you. about me though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be, but I don't. I know, know some if niggas I've ever been a woman with yeah. women who tell me no. I'm, what I mean no is like saying like you have your life savings and you want to take it and go buy a fucking Ferrari. Yeah, like and she said, says, and you, she asks you, like, should you go do it? And you're like, and she's like, yeah. Like the few women that I know that would have probably have told me, no, I don't think I've dealt with them in the long term, and it's not. I don't know. Maybe I need to reevaluate my life. You should. I mean, I guess it like, depends like on a yes the, person in the group. Well, no, I, and I, 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 I would, I would want somebody yeah. to tell me no. I just don't know why I can't say that I've found that. Mm. No, she that asked, do you do you want? Would you want that? Her I, question was, would you want somebody who just never? My answer is yeah, but. Uh-oh. Looking back, see, on my I've, past I've dealt with like a, never a like lot that, of so. yes people yeah. who yeah, will I, tell me yes. Yeah, who just tell even me yeah. I'm like, bro, come on, this shit sounds stupid as fuck. And sometimes you just want to try and just let me say yeah, this nah, dumb I'm, shit. I'm see cool this motherfucker gonna say yeah, and you like, like I cannot I said, take after you while, serious. It after would get while, old. That shit would annoy me because like, I'm I'm walking over you at that point. I know, and you're pretty much you let me walk pretty much like I yeah. It's not even necessarily that you let me walk over you. You're you you're literally letting me walk over you if you don't ever say no you to me at all. But what yeah. I'm saying, unless by some stroke of chance that she just happens to just agree with everything. I mean, but I'm saying, when you say walk tune, over, but when you say walk over somebody, that means you you know you're trying to take advantage of. Them. It doesn't necessarily have to be you taking. Yeah, advantage most of the of times, them. if you know that a person's gonna say yes, then no matter what you say, I feel like you're gonna take advantage. You're gonna take it absolutely. I mean, you could, but even still, that's it's like just, it's a if you know, to yourself. yeah, that's like if somebody, um, if you know you can. Call somebody and ask them anything. Ask them for anything, and they're gonna say yeah every time. Like you are gonna keep calling them, right? You ain't even gonna. Uh, uh, it's gonna be a point. You ain't even gonna try to figure shit out. You gonna be like, man, I'm gonna call this motherfucker because I know that they just. Gonna but that's what I'm saying. You're not even necessarily. I mean, you probably will that's taking advantage. Him, but you're doing more of a disservice to yourself because again, you. I'm thinking about situations where you're at, like you said, you're asking yeah. people for advice. They're not gonna give you real advice. They're just gonna agree with you. You're doing a disservice to yourself yeah. by even asking them. Facts. So. Yeah, that's why I said no. I wouldn't want that. But you do have, you know, there are people who do want a woman because if she does disagree with a poor decision or you know something, then it's like, oh, this bitch nagging, or you know, you think she a fucking. Well, I, I mean, no. that that's like every relationship anyway. Fact, <laughs> but people regardless. think that they exist. You do have men that think that yeah. relationships with no disagreements and no arguments they don't exist. They All think right. that. There should be a woman walking this earth that agrees and <laughs> no arguments, no disagreements yeah. with anything that you say. They're just like, okay, sure, yeah, no. Yeah. Tell me no. Yeah. You tell me no too many times. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's be fucked yeah, no, nah, it gotta be a balance. It has to be. It has to be a balance. Yeah, you keep telling me no. Yeah. But yeah, let's get into this last shit so we can get out of here. Um. So there's this list going around. Fuck that. <laughs> Both of them. I think this shit, it's like four now. So now, oh, really? so it went from um, the dinner. So the let's, date. let's let's start it from the beginning. So there's a video going around. This chick saying that you know, um, she was she was on a date with some like foreign dude, and um, he tried to take her to Cheesecake Factory, and she was saying that she too good for that shit. Whoop! It was like a nine minute video. Mm-hmm. He ended up taking her back home, and then a TikTok hat came out of a woman saying like, yo. I'm not going to Cheesecake Factory, and then, like, it's beneath me, and then there was another woman that, um, they had went on a date, 
and she ordered like four trays of oysters. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, who the fuck eats four trays of oysters at once? She did. And she did that shit on video. But she ordered like four trays of oysters and the nigga was like, yo, I'm going to pay for your drinks like I told you. But And then she ordered mad food like after the oysters. So That's he was like, yo, I'm going I'm to pay for the drinks and then I'm going to... You didn't even tell her. He just slid. Yeah, he went in the bathroom and texted. Like, he slid. He told he was going to the bathroom and then slid. So then there was a um, a list that had came out. And it was like mm-hmm. um, all the places that a woman will not go on a date. That, I don't think that's what stemmed that list, though. Mm-mm. Well, it, it was so, the Cheesecake Factory. So the, No, it, yeah, it wasn't the, the oyster shit. But yeah. all of that shit kind of happened, oh, yeah, yeah. A, like, along the same week. Sorry, like, along the timeline, that. yeah. I was I was kind of long winded, so it was a, a, around like the same timeline. But the cheesecake factory shit popped up, and then um, so of course you know the list had came out of uh, <laughs> all the places that women won't go on a date. Some I thought this shit was funny because I thought the list I, was a troll list. I thought somebody no, trolling I think just that bitch was serious. I don't think this. I personally don't think that shit was serious, but I also don't think ninety eight percent of the shit that touches the internet is serious. Even shit that seems serious. You do have There's a, a lot. You do have. You, you like do. I feel like it's content over everything. Even like the three videos that led up to it about the woman not going to Cheesecake Factory, the oysters. I think all that shit is staged. They I, were staged. I she think actually everything on the it. internet is staged. Okay, but the the video or the not the video the list that the man had like don't date like African American born women like <laughs> yeah no I was going I was going like to that that. Was, I was gonna get to that too that I was going to get to that too list. that was trolling I was going to get to that too. Um, there was some seriousness in that women's list. Yeah, there was definitely some. Nah, of, of course, you got to throw some troll in there with it to make it not seem... But most of that list was serious. Yeah, I, <laughs> I do believe that. Like, So here's my thing about these like lists or first dates in general. You guys don't know each other yet. You you know, you may have talked a time, or let's just say between one and three times, and then decide to go on a date. Mm-hmm. Nothing in those three conversations should make you think that whatever this person does for a living without knowing you, that this man should be taking you on a first date when he does not even know if he's going to like you in person or not. That this person should spend that type of money on a first date. I don't give a fuck how much money you have. You are not entitled to to it. No, you're definitely not. You you don't know them. You're not. That's fucking crazy. It's the the vibes. Yeah. I really just feel like what I do for first dates, what I used to do is like whatever I felt like doing. I'm just yeah. gonna invite you to come do it. The first date is not. Or, no, I say that, but I would plan some shit. I'm not against. Yeah, some like shit. I'm a. Yeah, plan it. That's just, dope. I mean, I'm saying. So I got what you're not about to do before we go on the first date. You're not about to give me a list of places that you, of things that we're not about to do or yeah. about to go. Now, because right, you know, it suck the fun out of every. Yeah. Thing. Mm-hmm. Now I can see. All right, I can see not wanting to go somewhere because you don't like their food. Right. Not completely because you feel like yeah, it's beneath you. But I've been to like expensive restaurants and like. Nine out of ten of them shits, the food not worth the price. What is really beneath people though? No, that's like, what, no, I'm just, but it's because everything is for the people gram. People say restaurant, no, no, okay. everything is everything is for the gram now. Like or, you say, certain shit, restaurants media. are beneath you, but nigga, you you grocery shop at Walmart. Yeah, but mm, what a lot of motherfuckers never. don't understand right. is like, there's only like five like uh, companies that own like all these hundreds of fucking chains of different restaurants. Facts. And I ain't gonna front. Applebee's bourbon chicken is better than a lot of these motherfucking upper echelon goddamn restaurants. Are you gonna be pushing it? I'm not I'm pushing to it. Say the Applebee's you have. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you pushing it. You pushing it. I would definitely. I like and it's just because I don't. Tacos. Again, I just don't like Applebee's food. Wonton, nah. Okay, Pam. I the wonton, wonton tacos. I'll do their appetizers. No, but that's what I'm saying. But, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> and and that's bottom. That's like and that's not even the best shit on their menu. That's liquor goes the same. But what I'm saying is. That shit is better than a lot of the upper echelon. Re- they I'm, don't season their shit for I'm real. I'm telling you. Like, if you don't really know go if to these. It's weird for me, but first dates, I don't want to go eat. Like, I, I, I want to so eat eventually. I'm, I'm with you. Like, and the I reason why I'm on the first, first date, date. I hate it. like, wait, I don't want to go wait, eat with you. So, I don't want to go to so Cheesecake Factory. I don't want to go to eat and I don't want to go to the movies. No, I want to go somewhere. No, but look, I want to go to Somewhere where we going to talk. Where we going to engage. Yes. Somewhere we going to engage in conversation. So, there's not going to be any food? No, I'm not. Pam. No, it, if you nobody says that. You greedy Pam. motherfucker. He was a greedy Pack motherfucker. Okay. We gonna, but no, we gonna eat. Snack. What she's oh, saying is, take her somewhere that she might enjoy, and like you can snack there. Like, mm-hmm. oh for sure. Some yeah. of the best dates is probably like simple shit, like Top yeah. Golf or some shit like that. And yeah. then like they have food at Top Golf. Happy mm-hmm. hours so are really order great food. first date. Yeah, Happy hours is. fire. Happy That's hours are really great. And you go in in the middle of the day, so it's no crazy expectations. Like. 
Now I'm saying you still got time to go home and do what you want to do if you need yeah. to, or if the vibe is right, we still got time to we kick it for the rest of the day. And then we can go get dinner because now we yeah. we hungry. We've been we done been together a couple hours, and then boom, boom, boom. So like. Oh no, man! Just so I, people that fucking like you. I get, yeah. I, and I'm yeah. okay. You know what I'm saying? If I'm having a conversation with a woman, she tells me something like that. Like on first dates, I don't really like going to restaurants or going out to eat is the main yeah. thing. Like, cool, we're having a conversation, so I know kind of what to expect, what to plan, right. what to do. That's yeah. conversation. But you give me a list of 15, 20 things that you don't do on dates. Like you just suck the fun out of it before you suck yeah. the fun out of me. I'm telling like, you, the only thing that was on the list, like everything that was on that list, is like what people would consider cheap shit. But I'm telling no, you, if no, one I, of them, one of them, she said bowling, and I have yeah, so that bitch much wrong fun. For that. Bowling is bowling. fun as yeah. fuck. Like, listen, I'm telling you now, if you were so, to take I'm gonna run through it before quick. Before you invite her bowling fellas, make sure she don't have nails on. So the list was this. I bowl with my nails on. So the list was I this. I get busy. Yeah. Yeah. Just, for, super just for context, the list was Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, The Movies, Your House, Any Fast Food Chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster, Buffet, I hop Denny's, the gym, church. I'm not going to fucking church date anyway. Um, Starbucks, coffee dates. Coffee dates are fire. You out your fucking mind. I was going to say I love a good coffee date. Um, ice cream like dates, coffee. also fire. Love ice cream dates are definitely fire. Family fire. functions. It's my family Ooh. turn the fuck up. If I invite you to the function. If I invite you to the family if function of the first joint. You locked it. You locked. I like you. I fuck with you for yeah. real. Like heavy, bitch. I was just saying, like, because there's joints that I dealt with like, that I never invited to the function. What? Like, <laughs> fuck is you talk about? It's some joints that I like. I was kicking it with you for a minute. And my you family didn't have functions. So I mean, my yeah. like my homeboy functions. If I invite you around my niggas the first time, like, I fuck with you. Like, yeah, because it's gonna be been. joints there. So like, I invited you with me, and they know that we coming together. Like, I'm bringing sand to the beach. Yeah, I'm saying even with like the cheap food. If somebody was to be like, yo, I got all your favorite shit from these fucking fast food restaurants, bitch, I fucking love you. I'm sorry. Like, even if it is. She said no fast. And don't get me wrong. I, yeah, a lot no of those places on there. Be a lot of those places on there, I just don't like their food. Yeah. So I understand. Like, Hold on, but I agree and, so with that her I on the see. ice cream. Like, my first day, I wouldn't. You got to know me. Yeah, yeah, you might be like, I don't want it first day. Like, first day, you got to know me because I'm like, we're going to be afterwards. So, I mean, you know, that's what I'm saying. If, if like you have a list of restaurants you won't go to because you don't like the food, that's different. But right. if you go, if you saying you don't want to go there because it's beneath you, like that shit, that's what. Yeah, that's just my favorite. Cause one thing, I, just, yo, the crazy shit. Like didn't Russell uh, Wilson just rent out a Waffle House? Like he just bought Waffle House for a couple you, hours to take Sierra there, like, like that's a week one of ago. Her favorite places. She I mean, was like, she's a bitch she from had Atlanta. What do you expect? The rest of her yeah, life. But that's what I'm saying. That nigga's a millionaire. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Biggest Waffle robbery in, in American Waffle history. Waffle if a nigga take me on the first date at Waffle House, I love you. I love you, nigga. Because I need a smother covered in cat. That this. <laughs> Listen, no, but here's what's gonna happen. I if I take you to my first date, my shit. If my first date leaves the Waffle House, I need. I need. I mean, my shit dies too. If my first date leaves the Waffle House, that means we was out. We was getting drunk yeah. before we yeah. got yeah. here. <laughs> so we had a good ass motherfucking time already. Yeah, and then all right, the night is already set. The last five, and I'm planning on eating some pussy after I take you to Waffle House. That's a fact. You're not, nobody goes yes. home after Waffle House. Nah. Something's no. happening. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> something, something's happening. I mean, after. you might go home, but it's because you go I'm home. I'm leaving in your t shirt the next day. So, yeah, something's <laughs> happening after like, Waffle House. So, all right, the last few is um, somewhere that might require a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, a hookah bar, a bar just for drinks, Waffle House. Somewhere that might require a long sporting, drive. What is a long drive? Let me get the last three out. Drive. Let me get the last three out. Uh, sporting events, mom and pop restaurants, and food trucks. I got to go. Food trucks? Them last oh. drinks That girl's is going all nowhere. Fire. I would, okay, you stay home, honey. We're not going nowhere. I'm done with you. You suck the fun out of the dating game before yeah. you suck the fun yeah. out of me. So where the fuck you want to go? Somewhere you can mm -hmm. just Instagram, mm -hmm. or you can take your pictures and not put no, the nigga said, in there anyway. Look, she said, fly me to Tulum, honey. <laughs> Stay your ass at home. Because I wouldn't fly you. Yeah, she right, wanna go to I'm going to be quiet on that because I might fly a bitch out for a first day. <laughs> that's a, I mean, we might. Listen, shit. if I like you, bitch, we really, really <laughs> might go to Puerto Rico hey, on the first see, day. Like, you see, I didn't really respond yeah. to that when she said that. You got to avoid that one. Let me shut up. That's why women making these lists now. It's the booze. Bougie bitches y'all dating. Listen, but it, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I do that, it's not because she wanted to go. It's because, bitch, I wanted to go anyway, and I just need somebody to go with me. Yeah. And we've also talked Hold about on, fucking. So what if you get there and she's just like, oh, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. <laughs> and she'll suck at me. Then she can't get mad. And, well, first of all, we Hold already on. talked about fucking. If, she, if that happens and she can't get mad if she comes in the room and he got to join in there. We've already talked about fucking because we're not flying out without fucking. Okay, I've well, known niggas that do that. There and then she just said, she changed her mind. Talked about it and she changed her mind. She no, was like, no. But that's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. So if she changed her mind and she don't want to do it, they're not together. They're not in a relationship. So she can't get mad if he cannot. go find something out there and Absolutely she come cannot. back to the room. 
Yeah, I'm tripping. No, I, I mean that's on you. So number one, if you're not his, if you're not his woman, and you don't want to fuck him, and y'all just blew her out for a first date. I'm still. I mean, that's cool. You you guys still got a place to stay. I'm not gonna put you out. Yeah, he ain't putting her out. I'm gonna make sure you get home. You already hear that. That's well, her, that's on her. She you hard to hear that. She can watch for a while. You fuck. Like, well, you fucking for real. It like, could have been, been you. It could have been you. It could have been you. Not it could have been you. Watch his work though. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, watch his workout for it. <laughs> but no, I mean, and then join in because you gonna see this work and this shit so coming. You, so you would. All right, so you would not want to get. All right, bro. So you would not give him no pussy, but want him to not get no pussy neither. So you're not feeling him like that. That is selfish. Or I mean, let me. I'm a selfish person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. I might be respectful and go get the pussy elsewhere and not in the room. But there we go. Yeah, maybe. You know this. At how least I, go maybe. get it in hey, the pool it de- or something. It depends on how bad you piss me off. The funniest shit though, you notice know how I said. Depends on how bad you piss me off. She can't get mad if he. I took myself completely out the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I took myself that's completely. That I would absolutely do. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I would absolutely. Not do saying if I would have won, but I took myself completely out. But I mean, that's better than him being a piece of shit. Because I've seen a lot of these clown ass niggas like, oh, now nah, you got to find your own flight yeah. back. Yeah, like, I'm gonna invited you here. You stay, good. You yeah, make sure you get you, home. You straight, your flight back. I already took the L on the money. I ain't gonna so, press yeah. you into nothing you don't want to do. Because more than likely, I probably got the got the got the last minute ticket without the refund, and I can't exchange it anyway. So I like, I <laughs> so didn't take the L, L on the so I ain't gonna. But I ain't a piece of shit. So yeah, nah. You still got the way home. You can still enjoy the rest of this. Uh, I might leave early. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta leave early. Yeah. I might leave early. Damn. Damn. Like you enjoy the hotel for the rest <laughs> of the night. Yeah. I'm out. Like you got it for the next two days. It's on you. Yeah. Like I mean, because of course there's always that slight chance we got. And I'm always respectful, it. so let yeah. me know when you make it back to I mean, states. It's a slight chance she might. <laughs> let me know when you make yeah. it back. I want to make you make it back. It's a slight chance she might change her mind. Like my God, later on, like yeah. if y'all there for a week, like three days in, she might be like, ah, right, you know what, fuck it, I'm a. Facts. Okay. But then he done already went and got some pussy, so he don't, <laughs> he don't even care at that point. Facts. I actually, I left somebody in the hotel room once. Mm. Yeah, she paid what? for. She paid for the weekend and I left her there. Damn. Cause she didn't give you nothing. No, she was actually putting out. It was not good. I had some other shit going on back at the crib, like oh. that I had to leave for. <laughs> 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 and it was like That's so dirty. That's it was. It was dirty as a motherfucker. <laughs> like she paid for the well, weekend. Yeah. She paid for the hotel for the weekend. I had some shit going on back at the crib. So at like <laughs> six o'clock in the morning I got up and I got dressed and I peeled out. Oh, and she hit me She was like Where you at And I'm like Hey I had to go <laughs> I'm, on the no road. I'm on the road Speaking Back to which, Virginia Speaking of which We gotta go We gotta go We gotta go Time up Time up We'll catch y'all next week man We out man Appreciate y'all for tuning in Make sure y'all like Share and subscribe And we out this bitch